Have you ever, while working on your proverbial uh, car, uh, drop a nut or two, and um, while dropping the nut or two, full well knowing that the nut or two will be there when you finish up and you'll be needing it to put the nut or screw or whatever it was you dropped back on, and unbeknownst to you while you are uh, finishing up and you're going back and needing that screw that's while that has occurred someone has come along and swept up and swept up your screw and threw it away that's what happened to me here I um, have opened these up outside and when I open them up outside on uh, this particular box, these um, little tiny buttons, oh gosh, like this one here, uh, came off and are, I should say, anyway, here, let me see if I can, here is a little tiny thing, okay, and that goes on one of those deals there. Um, they, when I, when you pull the front of this off, you have to open the cassette door and uh, you have to pull off the band switch and uh, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the, the left and right uh, uh, the left and right speaker selectors stay in place as well as the uh, record level stay in place, but the uh, speaker selector, the bass and treble do not stay in place. They come off from the front before you remove the front. As I remove the front, these uh, switches here broke off the front, okay, or they they flew across the area that I was working on, okay, and I knew where they were because I've seen where they fell, but I, I did not uh, take mention of where the, um, the AM FM selector switch went to, and when I got finished, with what I was doing with this unit here, which was cleaning it from the inside, deoxing the switches and such. This uh, piece right here had been missing. So I, let's see here, I'm, I'm trying to measure this for you, or give you an idea as to how tiny this thing is. That's, okay, it's about that big. And uh, it's about this long, okay. And therefore, I need one of these. Um, now, just for reference, the fine tuning knob, which also goes on the end of this, which is only uh, is uh, the it's the same diameter hole, uh, and it's the same height as this here. And it will operate the AM FM shortwave 1 and 2 switch really well. It's just this is only used for the fine tuning of the shortwave on the unit. And I'll show that later. Anyway, <clears throat> so once these switches had fallen off, I, re I found them again, except I did not find this one because this one was swept up and thrown away by the people. Thanks. So I need another one of these. Appreciate it. All right, now, when I went to put these little switches, I call them jewels because they're so tiny. Again, let me get the little, ah, uh, that one. I just dropped it. Okay, here it is. All right, let me put it back together. Shucks, here. Show you what I'm trying to do. Okay, there we go. These little pieces here are evidently glued on because when I went to put these things back on, they would not go onto these metal tabs, which are right above me. So as I went to press them on gently, uh, and because these radios are 25 or 30 years old, and this is such a tiny... There it went again. Tiny little pieces. They uh, actually broke in half 
while being pushed on. Now, I don't understand. There we go. Yay. I don't understand why, for the life of me, that these would not go on because there is, as I probed with uh, little tiny implements that I have, there is nothing in this hole, yet they would not go on um, these holes. Now, let me here, let me give you, a, I don't know if that helps you any. I'm using a flashlight in the distance to help better illuminate this. <clears throat> but these, uh, anyway, these right here, these are tapered. They're not exactly straight. They're small at the end and bigger at the base. And this, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Just this uh, won't push on. It, pu it pushed on, and it broke right in half, like like this. Okay, so uh, either it needs to be glued back on, or or stuck back on and then glued in place. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Now, here is another one, which is broken uh, differently. Wait, get it up there. See? It goes like that. It's in here. Let me try and see if I can hold this up here for you in the camera. Okay. Oh, this is just so tiny. Maybe this is not the best example here and hold well uh, and then here's my little measuring the only thing I have in the way of millimeters because I just don't measure in millimeters here wait let me try this one here this one might hold together better okay maybe this one will see this one here this goes together like that okay Okay, there we go. Anyway, that's what that looks like, and that just pushes on. You, can you see in that hole there? There's nothing in there. Wait, can you? Okay. So there is that, and this is I got a little measuring deal up here just to give you something. I can't really measure it correctly because I can't hold it together and hold it, but it's just something very, very tiny and very intricate for what it is to be pushed on to this radio here, okay? Now, I, I, since I have two of these radios, let me scroll on down here, just like this. Uh, this here radio has the same kind of switches and or knobs, whoops. And what I tried to do here is I took the knobs that I had, they were on here, and I went to put them on this one here. And they split. So I have, let me bring you down to the table. I have, there we go. I have this one here that's, there, there it goes, two pieces. I have this one here that, well that's in one piece. Okay. And I didn't want to break that one. And then here is another one in pieces. And then here is that one there in pieces. So, uh, anyhow, that's what I wanted to show you here the width these here. This one here is fully cleaned, best I can. And um, this one here is not cleaned. I'm not going to play music in them because... That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to simply show that when I uh, cleaned this unit here and took it apart, that the parts exploded off. Um, this knob, that's right, I wanted to show you this. This knob goes in this hole and turns and rotates that from there. However, you can take, like I said, this very same knob off the end, which is the fine tuning for the short wave, which will go in here. Let me demonstrate. This will actually fit on here. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's actually turning that knob. So that will work in either in either occurrence here. And like I said, since I lost to the one 
Let's see here. Can't do this in the dark. Okay. There we go. Deet, deet, deet. Like that. Works fine. Um, <clears throat> I took, as you can see, I took this one here off of this radio. Okay. But anyway. Uh, so I am sending, or no, I'm not sending. I've taken this one off of here and I'm putting it into this one here. And, um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I don't know if I have a 10 minute limit on this account, but I'm signing off and letting you know that. Thank you. And thanks. And, uh, if you're ever working on something like one of these again, uh, don't, uh, pick up the parts immediately after you're done. Okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye.